I'm going to show you how to find a journal article in the approved list of sociology journals given to you. This is the page that you're going to see, and you can see all of the journals are listed below. And if you read the titles of the journals, it'll give you an idea of whether or not you want to use it for your topic, depending on what your topic is. So if I don't have a topic that fits one of these more specialized journals, I might use a general one, such as the sociological quarterly or social problems or social forces. Um, but if I have a topic that fits into one of these, such as gender and society or a journal of black studies, then I, I want to look at those because they're more specialized, right? I'm going to go to the British Journal of Criminology and show you how you would search within this journal to find your article. So once you click on the journal, you're able to put in a keyword and you probably want to keep this broad in the beginning and narrow it down as you see what kind of results you get. So I just put in politics and as you can see, I have received 185 results. Each one of these are articles. Uh, from that journal, and it contains the word politics in some sort of way. You can see where it's underlined here. If I read the, the title of the article, it gives me an idea of what it's about, and it, it maybe leads me to something that I want to read more about, right? If I go down a little bit more, I see this one here is not an article. This is actually a review. So although these are all peer-reviewed journals, it doesn't differentiate when you search within it between a book review and an article. You will be able to tell the difference because when you click on the title of an article, you're going to go into one of these. It doesn't matter which one. It's just different databases have the same journal within it. So you can select one of the databases and you're going to be asked to log in unless you are, are, are already logged in through My Pioneer Portal. So once you're logged in, the article will appear. And if this was a review, if I didn't catch that and I actually clicked on a review, you would notice pretty quickly because a review is going to be very short while an article is going to be uh, much more lengthy. So a book review is usually kind of like a paragraph. And then an entire article is longer and includes reference lists. If I want to save this article so I don't have to search for it again, I can email it to myself. And I recommend you do that, even if you're not sure you're going to use it. If you find something that's sort of good, it's good to keep it so you don't have to go and figure out which journal did I click in and what topic did I put in that search to find that article that I want to use.